And then of course, oh, it's the disease that you're bringing onto the farm and the foreign, ah, it's a load of bull. <laughs> Excuse the word that is. <laughs> Vets sell their products with fear. Me, Vets, yeah. <laughs> Most of it. So. <laughs> Ian, is your uh, your own herd is that a closed herd? Do you do line breeding, or do you try to bring in fresh genetics every now and then? I do nature breeding, not line breeding. Who cares? <laughs> and that person who tells you that you're putting father onto daughter, you're going to run into problems. I do wild animals as well. I've got 18 species of wild animals on my property. Some of those I only brought nine in. Nine females and one male. And they've grown into two, three hundred in the herd. I've never brought another male in. Ooh, that's good. And the younger you keep the bull, the better it's going to do. What college kid has ever missed? Did you get that video? Yeah, I can, wow. I can edit that. Wow, snap! That's awesome. You can wrap that off. Hey. <laughs> Send that in. <laughs> Old bulls fight to look after territory and females. Young bulls don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> Let's change the subject. <laughs> Do you care about genetics in the sense of um, there are certain breeds that you prefer on for grass or not? Or? They're no bad cattle, they're no bad animals, they're only bad people. People have destroyed animals to try and put them into the perspective that they have. And it goes back to the bull with the big testicles. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. why? Because some guy did his PhD on proving that so many more sperms are coming out of that big testicle than a small one. But the wild animals are better at return conception than cattle. Watch the animals. So genetics is for me I'm free. Toes your head as long as you've got more than 300 cows, toes your head. Use your own bull. As long as you got more than cows, no problem. Use all your bulls. Why you take your why take the knackers out and then transplant hormones in there to get growth? Use the knackers that are there. So only take the knackers out after 18 months, after they've mated all the cows. <laughs>